What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we are going over the best rare and epic team to take down Air to the Balor in the new Dungeons and Dragons collab for Dragon Air. Like and sub for more amazing gaming content. So what we're doing is we're strictly building the best team using rares and epics only, no legendaries. So this is pretty free to play friendly teams for the most part that almost anyone should be able to build a side note though obviously the best hero that you're going to want to also use is going to be driss dordan he is our dungeons and dragons collab hero Ooh. so feel free to use him if you do because he does extra damage to air two now for choosing our rare and epic heroes only we really want to make sure we hit that five hero elemental affinity so that way we can get that extra bonus it's extremely extremely important because we want to be able to do the most damage possible so because of that we're going to be using these specific elements paired up now i haven't been able to find a decent frost and necro team so the two teams we're going to go over is a radiant lightning team and a poison fire team the first one i think is by far the best and that's going to be the radiant lightning team it's a hundred percent arguably i would say the best team without any legendaries and then we just have like a second option in case you just don't have these specific heroes that i'm talking about our first team we're going to have a rare radiant and that is going to be welby he is going to focus on rallying so this first team is all about the rally specific special effect for his passive skill we're going to be gaining rally and granting attack up to the hero and one ally so we're getting extra attack next one we have is another rally radiant and this is going to be an epic hero so every six basic attack we're going to go ahead and grant rally to an ally with rally for the battle skill we're recharging a rally allies ultimate energy then the ultimate skill is going to go ahead and give us an attack up to all rally allies for 10 seconds so that's very very important for our third radiant hero we're going to go with garius and this is one of the most important heroes in this specific build now air 2 goes ahead and he does a ton of debuffs He's got stuff like putting the fire burn effect on you. So you're going to have lots of burn effects on your heroes. And then more importantly, he can go ahead and remove one of those burn effects and then just deal AOE fire damage, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people have problems keeping Gwenovar, the Black Panther, alive uh, because he takes like lots of extra AOE damage. But I know they did buff that. So that Gwenevar doesn't take as much AOE damage. But this guy right here, he is 100% a must by far. One of the strongest heroes in this game. And that is going to be because of his ultimate ability right here. The spells all debuffs from the hero and heals all allies. So this is important because, like I said, Air 2 has a ton of debuffing effects. As well as the demons that he spawns have the chance to go ahead and put stun on you too. There's so many different debuffs that you have to deal with in this dungeon. So having this specific hero to just remove them all is so important. And he's a really good frontliner as well. Our fourth hero in this lineup is going to be another Radiant. And this is going to be a rare and this is another support so this is just giving us stuff like heal allies within the range we're getting defense up we're also granting a shield to the ally and giving them recovery over time and then finally when healing allies gains a chance to increase the healing so this is like straight constant healing the way this dungeon works is you really have to have a decent amount of supports because you want to just last as long as you can in this battle if you try and go in just using all damage dealers you're going to get absolutely smashed you need a really good mix of support heroes who do different things like healing and debuff removal and then our final fifth hero for this lineup is going to be an epic hero and this is going to be from the lightning element so we had four radiance and then this is going to be our one solo lightning another support hero uh for this one though we do have a captain ability we can use 
increase all allies max HP by a percentage in all battles. So this is gonna help us out. And then we just have extra stuff like when a buff expires or is dispelled from any target, we're gonna heal the ally with the lowest current HP, which this is constantly gonna be happening. Then we also have dispel one debuff from an ally within the range and give them recovery over time. Again, we wanna have lots of heroes that are gonna be removing debuffs as well as being able to heal and put a little bit of damage out. This is what I would say is by far like the strongest, best, uh, epic and rare hero only team. All right, and for the second recommended build, if you don't have any of those heroes, this is gonna be a fire poison team. We're gonna have an epic fire. This is gonna be the only fire hero in this build. All the rest of them are gonna be poison. We have Adolphus, this is a support. We have just a bunch of different shielding effects going on, does a little bit of fire damage, but mostly all of these skills have to do with putting shields on our allies. For our second hero, we have an epic poison, and that is gonna be the ever cherished, I can't pronounce this name, but this is a support, 100% chance, inflict accuracy penalty two on the debuff caster. Then we have heals poison damage, chance to go ahead and inflict attack penalty, and then finally dispels two debuffs from all allies. This is like the most important part about this hero and heals them for each debuff successfully dispelled on an ally, the healing on that ally is increased. So hey, we know we're gonna be removing debuffs. Most importantly, we're probably gonna be removing at least two every time on each hero. So we're gonna get tons of extra healing as well. So really amazing support for this specific second team. From there, the third hero we have is gonna be another poison. This is a rare hero. And this is one that everyone gets for free. She's arguably like one of the top tier healing heroes in this game. And she has a captain ability, which is gonna give us enlightenment in all battles. And all she does is give us lots of solid healing on our team. Uh, for her battle skill, heals an ally and dispels one debuff. Fourth hero, this is gonna be another poison. And this is an epic hero. And uh, this guy has a captain ability, increases our defense by a percentage in dungeon battles. Now this hero pairs up really well with the one that we just talked about. That's gonna be putting a lot of debuffs on the enemy because this one right here says that when dealing damage to enemies under debuffs, which is gonna happen, we got a chance to heal an ally with the lowest current HP and dispel one debuff from them. So again, you see the trend. There's a lot of synergy in this fire poison team where we're getting just lots of abilities that are going to heal our heroes and then remove all of those debuffs as well. Our battle skill is just gonna give us that healing nexus, the heal em totem pole, which just gives us some healing. And then we have deals poison damage with a chance of inflicting attack penalty too for an amount of time. So just a solid hero. And then for our fifth hero, we have a rare, and this is going to be the forest dweller, Eli. He is from the poison element. And this guy's pretty much just gonna be straight damage and putting lots of poison effects on air two and the demons that he summons. So we have stuff like increase our allies attack by a percentage in all battles for our captain ability. So again, we can go ahead and we can use this to get that extra damage. Those are two really powerful teams that I recommend using only rares and epics. So anyone should be able to kind of utilize that to take down air to the baller. That is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.